Have you ever thought about just how amazing your Bible is? Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas. And hey, have you ever been to a museum? Yeah, museums are really cool because they've got all kinds of really old stuff in them. Some museums have really famous old stuff. This one time I went to a museum and there was this letter behind some glass and it was actually written by Abraham Lincoln. And if you don't know who Abraham Lincoln is, he was one of the most influential, most important presidents that the United States has ever had. And I'm sitting there looking at this, at this letter. It's like right in front of my face. You know, it's behind glass, but I, I could almost touch it if it weren't for the glass. And I'm looking at it and I'm getting like goosebumps because I'm, I'm, I'm realizing that Abraham Lincoln himself actually wrote those words. And after we went to the museum and we went home, I was still thinking about it. I was like, I saw something that Abraham Lincoln made. But then later that night after we went home, I, I sat down and I was going to read my Bible. And I looked at my Bible and I was just like, whoa. It struck me. It hit me. It hit me like a bolt of lightning right in the face. I was holding God's word in my hands. You know, the Bible says that all scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. That's crazy. You can literally hold God's words in your hands. And man, if I got goosebumps looking at something made by Abraham Lincoln, I really, really got goosebumps thinking about what I was holding in my hands when I hold the Bible. And it really is an amazing book. Every single little bit of it is important. And you could read it a hundred million times and still learn from it. I can't tell you how many times I've read a book of the Bible and then gone back and read that book a while later and learned something new. A bunch of new things. And there's so many little verses in the Bible, but they all come together. They all work together. And God used many people over a long period of time to write down exactly the words that he wanted them to say. And you know, there's so much uncertainty in this world. There's so much stuff that's hard to understand. So much stuff that's hard to trust. But we can know that God's word is true. And having that foundation is super, super important. You know, some people believe that some stuff in the Bible is true and some stuff isn't, but it's all true. All scripture is God-breathed. It's all useful for teaching and for rebuking and correcting and training in righteousness. It's all useful, and it's all the word of God. And that's why it's so important for us to be reading our Bibles, right? Because it is it is God's word. And, you know, it's important for us to go to church and to go to Sunday school and to learn about God in that way, but... But it's so important for us to learn on our own, right? To open our own Bibles and to read the word of God for ourselves. And if you can't read yet, then then have someone read the word of God to you. Have someone read you your Bible. It's so, so important. And so my challenge to you guys today is that you would go pick up your Bible. Go open your Bible and start reading. The words you find there are the words of God. And I promise you that if you go looking for wisdom in the Bible, you will find it. All scripture is God-breathed. And when you read your Bible, you are reading the very words of God. And that is awesome. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video. And hey, have you checked out my Patreon page yet? Yeah, patreon.com slash Douglas Talks. Patreon is a great way to help support the ministry of Douglas Talks. Yeah, so all those people over there with their names scrolling up, those are my patrons. Those are some of the people that have helped support Douglas Talks through Patreon. And depending on how much you choose to give, there's different like levels, there's different rewards and things. And one of the rewards is a shout out to the ministry of your choice. For example, one of those ministries is called Family Life Ministries. Yeah, they have a radio station and they do concerts and theater shows and all kinds of other things to reach people with the message of hope. And they especially love kids. And every Saturday morning, Mr. Jacobs and his friends on the kids' corner they talk about God and sharing his love with the people that God puts in our lives. Their website is fln.org. And if you want to listen to episodes of the Kids Corner, you can just go to fln.org slash kids. There's tons of episodes to listen to in a monthly coloring contest too. You should totally check them out. And hey, if you'd like to hear a shout out to your favorite ministry, check out patreon.com slash Douglas Talks to learn how. Always make sure that you have your parents' permission before you do anything online. Thanks, guys.